Hey everybody, Simon here with Tech Visibility. As you know, we have used the DJI Osmo Pocket for a lot of 4K recording. It's light, it's portable, it does a great job with video, does a very decent job with audio as well when you're not covering the microphones on the device. You could also attach an external microphone using their adapter and the microphone or shotgun microphone of your choice. This is a neat little 4K recorder. We love it in the office. One complaint we had was the distancing of holding the Osmo Pocket away from you and getting that wide angle look. So we went ahead and bought the DJI Osmo Pocket extension. This extension here works with the Osmo Pocket. We're gonna go ahead, unbox it, and review this product as well. Before we get into this video, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Visibility. Also check out Tech Visibility's website at techvisibility.com. Thanks guys, let's get into this video. Unboxing the DJI Osmo Pocket extension. We have basically a standard box. Ours came a little bit dented and damaged. All you see on the box is that it's made in China, it's an authentic product. Opening this up, looks like it comes with instructions and a bag. And there you have it folks, it's a little bit bigger than I expected, nothing else is in the box. The box just simply tells what the product is. The manual, let's take a look, is very basic and very small, tells you what some of the controls are and then just gives you warnings. So literally gives you a few buttons and controls. Here it describes those buttons. And it's pretty interesting. So we could go into those as well. So this is your joystick to move the gimbal around. On this setting, you could either move, set it to move left, right, up, down, or you could set it to move kind of in the 360 method where you're going all around. This button turns it on. If you double press it, it centers it. If you triple press this button, it will flip it. Now this is a flip button as well. Record, stop, stop, or start, stop, which is here. You can also, by single pressing, switch between photo and video on the FN button, just like Osmo Pocket. The C1 button, you switch between tilt lock and then pan follow and FPV mode. Three different axes that you could set it to. The C2 button, which is interesting, when it's set to tilt locked or follow mode, press and hold it to switch to the other modes. It basically allows you to switch out of that mode, it looks like. Now, how does this thing charge? It actually uses the battery and charges from the DJI Osmo. So I'm not sure what the battery life would be. It does have a phone mount here. So you could actually connect the phone mount does have a cold shoe so you could connect the microphone here for example we have the Rode shotgun style mic here this is a neat feature however the NTG mic makes this kind of feel heavy one thing I noticed as an issue with this if you have this mic and you get an adapter to adapt for an external microphone then you lose the function of the phone so this becomes a little bit weird I'm not sure why they have the cold shoe if you're not able to use microphone plus the phone at the same time without potentially buying any other accessories. So that is an interesting point. I wonder if you could kind of jerry-rig it to where you could use an external mic as well as your phone for display. Now, in order to use your phone for display, you'll need a lightning to a USB-C cable, which is on the bottom of the Osmo Pocket. So this is the size comparison. You can see how it is in my hand here. Let's get this mounted in. So you unlock it with a lever here. You open it up. You notice that you were using your iPhone connection, which is the lightning adapter. That gets taken out and there's a slot here in the extension. You have to tilt your Osmo Pocket the proper way and then you have to slide it in. You'll hear a kind of a click get your lever back and snap it into place. So that's how you mount it. Now it's in place, you could pull out the extension. You could actually tilt it up and down as well as you see here. Now what do you do with this little guy? They did make a nice little spot for your lightning extension right here. There's only one spot, unfortunately. I wish they had two. I would have been able to store other connector that it comes with, which is mini USB or whatever they included for Android. The extension rods, like any other uh, selfie sticks, 
except it controls this gimbal. It's pretty long, so I can't even get it into frame almost here, as you could see. I'd say it's about 18, maybe two feet long, actually. That's a pretty good distance from your face. Now let's get it operational. I'll keep it close by. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. As you see, the gimbal is moving. And then we're gonna go ahead and see what we could do. It says extension rod connected on my screen. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera to me. I just flipped it here. I'm gonna actually record this video as well so you could get a perspective from this angle that we're recording. We can also control the where I want the camera looking. So I have it kind of, if I want a little bit more background space, I'm gonna go to the other side, I could control it. Um, if I want to center it, I double tap it. Um, this control will follow me and face track on. So it kind of goes around the room and it follows me with face track on. At the same time, I could throw a little, you know, addition to it if I like and move the camera up and down if necessary with the joystick. So it moved it as much as it could and now it moved it up as much as it could while almost having face track on. So it's kind of got my eyes tracking. So you could set it a little bit here, which is really neat. Let's see, what else modes does it have? In here, I'm just cycling through them. And now we flipped it. So now we flipped it to our camera setup, which is recording on this end. Uh, pretty neat setup here as well. Flip it back to me. So very neat feature, just to give you guys a perspective of how it looks. If we zoom all the way out here, I could barely see what's on the screen, but it's giving me a pretty good perspective of my surrounding. And it allows me to kind of record in that selfie stick mode pretty neatly. So I would say that it does its job with um, giving you that extra function. Now, without having the iPhone here, I'm definitely not able to see anything. So it's really difficult. So I'm getting back into frame here on our main camera, which is a Sony 6400, it's a great vlogging camera. And now I could still tilt and do all these fun things. And I can show you the camera here, for example, and the setup. So pretty neat, in my opinion, pretty neat gimbal, pretty neat extension rod. You'd obviously need your iPhone to use this without straining your eyes. I'm like literally looking up in that camera and I'm having a hard time seeing it, but I think it does its job to capture the environment around. So hopefully you guys get to see that here. Here I am adjusting it to bring it closer and it's still got me in, in uh, capture mode. It is charging and it is recording. It does uh, use its power here. So I'm wondering what would happen if we used the power of the Osmo Pocket and basically had an issue with having now less battery life in the Osmo Pocket. I like the cold shoe for the shotgun mic, but that would mean that I probably can't use the iPhone for the screen. And that to me is an issue. I think it's a design flaw that they had here. So face track is on, looks good. This is a pretty good zoom in. Anyway, I like this thing. I think it would be a good addition if you're trying to show the environment around you. So I like the fact that you could control the gimbal a little bit here as well. Anyway guys, pretty simple product. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Osmo extension rod. This thing sells for about $70 online and it is a, a device that I would probably add to my camera bag for a lot of uh, vlog style videos. I don't think it's a perfect product and the only question or concern I have, how would you use the cold shoe mic mount with the, uh, with the iPhone mount here because there's only one USB-C connection at the bottom for adapters. I hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. We'll catch you guys here next time and thank you for watching tech visibility check out our website where we do a lot of product reviews and give you the latest tech news appreciate it thanks guys till next time